Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Chris here from Finland Mennonite Church. Time for another midweek musing. This time where we just slow down and remind ourselves of one truth from the previous week's sermon and the scriptures that we were in. Oh, hey Jace, how you doing? Good. Hey, you're actually, this is perfect timing. Do you remember the visual we've been using through our sermon series so far? <laughs> what is it? Puzzles. A puzzle, right? And well, remember, we, we even brought this into midweek musings last week and we said if you get a puzzle, you get all the pieces with it, right? They all mm -hmm. come together. How many pieces are in this puzzle? 514. 514. So when we picked this box, we chose 514 pieces at the same time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. All right, now, if we were to open this puzzle and dump out all the pieces, would it show us the picture? No. No, what do we have to do? We have to build it. We have to build it, we have to put the puzzles together. So, kind of like this. Here's our puzzle that we made out of a picture. Now, what, uh, any guesses what you think this might be a picture of? A bath. Okay, what colors do we see? Blue. A lot of blue and, how about this one, Ray? I see like, looks like clouds maybe? Maybe a sky? Hmm. But it's kind of hard. So maybe, do you think we should start with this corner piece? Maybe this will help us start to figure something out. Oh, look, it fit. Hmm. We have to join these together, don't we? Yeah. Because a picture that's not joined together doesn't really help us see what we're supposed to, does it? No. Hmm. Uh, maybe if we arrange them differently. Does that help us understand what this picture is going to be? No. How about I have... Now do you? No. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we just hit this button. And we let people see what this picture is actually of. What do you think it is? A hiking. It is from our hiking trip. This is Arches National Park, isn't it? Uh -huh. Hey, get out of the way. There we go. Now, now do you get a full picture of what this puzzle was all about? Yeah. But only when the puzzle pieces were joined together, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for helping me today, Jace. So there you go. We had a puzzle. We had all the pieces. But when they were not joined together, when they were all separate, it was really hard. You could maybe get a sense of what the picture was of. But remember, this is what it looked like all together. You get the complete picture. You can even see uh, some of uh, my kids standing there on the rock. You get a perspective of how big things are and how beautiful it can be, which you just didn't get when those pieces were just lying around, right? They needed to be joined together. Likewise, God's people need to be joined together. But here's where it got real for us. We, we recognize that when we join together, we can tend to annoy and frustrate and bother one another. And so I left us with two questions that I just want to remind you of this week as we finish this week out, knowing that we're joined together with people in our homes, at our workplaces, at our schools, some that we choose to be joined with and some that we're forced to be joined with. And here were those two questions to help us whenever we are joined together and we meet up with friction. First one is, am I assuming the best of this person? Right? We often can assume the worst. We often can make judgment calls as to why someone did something, why they said it that way. And what if we just started assuming the best? And how might that change our posture and the way that we approach things? And then the second one was, how am I praying for this person? And am I asking God the Father to give me his heart for this person? person. See, I believe as we go through life, as we finish out this week, as we go through the rest of this year, we're going to be joined together and we're going to have moments of friction, moments of frustration, moments of challenge. And yet, God's grace, his, his glorious grace, his great love, his rich mercy will be seen most when we do, in fact, respond with grace, love, and mercy in those relationships uh, together by asking those things. Am I assuming the best? 
and how am I praying for this person? So let's finish this week out, whoever we're joined with, and let's allow the Spirit of God to demonstrate in us fully his grace, his love, and his mercy so that others can know this wonderful God for themselves. Have a blessed week.